The study consisted of uh, four human subjects. Human subjects were given a minute dose of carbon-14 labeled aflatoxin. The amount of the dose corresponded to a fraction of that found typically in a peanut butter sandwich. And both blood and urine samples were taken at several time points uh, post-dose. Uh, subsequently, individuals were also given the same aflatoxin dose concomitantly with a dose of chlorophyll or chlorophyllin. And then the carbon-14 content from the aflatoxin measured in blood and urine. Again, each dosing was done in triplicate for each of the individuals in the study and you were able to observe lower carbon-14 contents in urine and blood uh, from the doses, the dose regimes where you had the chlorophyll and, or chlorophyllin given concomitantly with the aflatoxin. The implication from that is the aflatoxin is uh, being eliminated from the body via other means to wit, uh, fecal matter. So the lower uh, values in urine and blood imply lower bioavailability.